Hey, good morning, everybody. My name's Carl. Uh, I'm gonna do a review on a solar oven. Uh, I've had this thing for about five years. You only use it a few times, but I just wanna show you everything that comes with it and what could be done with it. And then I'm gonna try to make an iMovie because I'm gonna cook some things today, but I can't leave the camera on because it'll be hours long. So the first thing you see, I have the uh, reflector shield set up. Uh, it's all around here. And we have a insulated lid that's with it. And the lid, as you, uh, hopefully you can see this, goes right onto the, the cover. Okay. And like I said, it's plastic, lets the sun in. Now, I'm not very good at videos. But we have a we have an insulated box, black inside, and a little scratch from me using it. It comes with two pans, and they're enamel non-reactive pans. Okay, and I don't remember, I think they're three quart, but I've done roasts and other things in them, soups, chili. Uh, and it comes with uh, what they call a loppy, it's a water pasteurization indicator. It has a wax thing in it. What you do, and I'll be demonstrating that in my next video when I join them all together, you float this in in water and put it inside and let it heat up. And I think it's 145 degrees. Uh, this wax will melt down to the bottom. And that means your water is pasteurized. Now, it doesn't, doesn't take any chemicals out but it, it kills the bacteria and other stuff you don't want. And then it's reusable because the wax will be down here, but you have to store it upright. So I'll be using this later. So the pans, you can see are nice. Okay. Move this over here. And it comes with a, a temperature indicator. Uh, I have had it up to 350 degrees, uh, which is nice. But once you put something in there, the temperature will come down. But it's just like a solar cooker, but you're using the sun. Now, the other thing that I have, and I've got two of these, um, and I would recommend you picking something up to do that with, would be a little rack to put your pan on. That would allow more heat to the bottom. Uh, to distribute I did buy I did buy some uh, little bread pans I got these off of Amazon I have six of them but I did cornbread yesterday and uh, I was very impressed with it so so later on what I'll do is I'm going to come out I'm going to take everything out let the oven heat up I, I bought uh, half gallon jars um, which I didn't bring out with me, but I'll show you it in the other video. I'm going to uh, put a cup of rice in there. And now the jar is clear. I've seen videos where you should uh, paint them black, but I'm going to try it clear just to see if it works. And I'm also going to bring a jar out and use the WAPI indicator to show you how that works. And then my third video is I have a store-bought Stouffer's lasagna. I'm going to throw it in, and that's what's going to be my dinner tonight. So I hope you enjoy, and bear with me. Um, like I said, I'm not a very very good videographer, but I'm certainly going to uh, try my best. Okay, earlier I said I was going to get this all set up, and I was going to uh, cook some rice and uh, put the uh, water pasteurization indicator in a jar just to show you how that works. So I'm going to take off the back. Uh, by the way, it's 325 degrees in the oven. It took about 30 minutes in the sun to get there. So I'm going to take out the indicator. Green wax has got to go up. I'm going to put it in this jar. And it should float. And it does. And what I'm going to do is just put the cap on real light. I'm just going to set it in here. Same way with the rice. I just have a cup of 
white rice, jasmine actually, uh, two cups of water like you normally cook it. And I'm gonna leave the lid on just a little loose so it can vent a little bit. And now we just wait and see how long it's gonna take for everything to work. And then I'll be doing, putting the lasagna in, in a little bit. Uh, so temperature's still above 300. So I didn't lose a lot. Oops. Lost my. Sorry for that shot if it didn't look good. Okay, more to come. Hey, I'm back with you. It's been an hour since I put the rice and the, uh, the uh, pasteurization indicator in. Uh, so I'm gonna open it up. It looks like uh, at least the pasteurized thing's done. And then I'll put the lasagna in, but I'm gonna check the rice too and see where it's at. I probably should have heated the water first, but I don't know. It's a learning process. That's what life's about. So I caution you, this is going to be hot. Still, it's like 275 and I said earlier that the temperature would drop down so I'm going to pull out the, the jar with the water and it is hot oh yeah the indicator's down I'll show you that in a second I'll move the temperature indicator to the back you got a fork and the rice has absorbed most of the water, but I gotta make sure, don't touch nothing because it is hot. Okay. Check the, ooh, rice, ooh, it's fluffy. I wanna give it a little, just a little taste. Stir it up. I think it's done. Well, it smells wonderful. Huh. Gorgeous. I don't believe it. Okay, so I'm gonna put the lid on that. I'm gonna take it out. Ow. Ooh. Told you it was hot. I'm gonna set that aside. And I'll use the rice uh, for fried rice tomorrow. Okay, now we're gonna get the lasagna. So as I told you, it was gonna be a Stouffer's frozen lasagna. It's still in the box. I am gonna use this to keep, keep it elevated a little bit. So let me put this in. Don't want to lose all the heat, but it'll come back. It'll be that. Okay, let's get the lasagna unboxed. And I'm just gonna leave the leave the foil on. Okay, put it in frozen. It's uh, 125 in the afternoon. So this is going in. Now push it all up. Now the temperature has dropped down to 225. Anyway, I'll finish clipping it up and I'll be back with you when it's done. Hey, I'm back with you. Uh, this is the lasagna. I put this in at uh, 130. It's now 430, 425. If you can look in the right corner, you'll see that it's bubbling. Hopefully you can see it. Let me zoom in. Let's see if I can get that. 
Uh, well, I can't see through my fingerprints. But anyway, uh, just wanted to show you that some of the options that you got out there. Uh, I mean, the fruit, the cooking is totally free. And today, you know, we we did the rice. I showed you how to how to do the water as far as purifying it. And I did make a mistake. I said it cooked like a solar cooker. Well, duh, it is a solar cooker. It's a slow cooker. But it's still 300 degrees, maybe a touch over. I'm shading it. Uh, but anyway, that's it for today. And uh, I hope somebody got some usefulness out of this. Uh, I enjoy it. I, I didn't think I'd like it as much as I do. But uh, it, it's like, remember the old Ronco cooker, set it and forget it. The only thing you got to do is come out and adjust it and turn it toward the sun. So you have, you know, you're collecting the sun. Anyway, you all have a good day.